I was trying to say is he's sleeping and I decorated so those signs will be up when he gets up in the morning. I hope he's surprised. Oh. Happy birthday. Yeah. How was our breakfast? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, good, thank you. She's okay, yeah? That was great. Mm, day, guys. Looks right, good, thank, thank you. you. So much. Mm. Granola and some yogurt, croissants, some little quiches, coffee. Mm. Yummers. Orange juice. So, we're on the road to Toronto, and we're stopped off here in Hamilton at this uh, Memphis Fire Barbecue Company. Because where else can you get great barbecue except out in the middle of nowhere in Canada? Not really middle of nowhere, it's a large town. It's supposed to be really good. Been around for a long time, so we'll check it out. Noticed Enterprise, family restaurant, all these awards. Chicken, ribs. I don't know. Oh, and look. Newspaper articles. Here's what we got. These are pulled pork sliders, beans, some tots, spicy tots, and brisket for the sandwich. We've got Steve here, the owner of Memphis Fire Barbecue, and is this considered Hamilton or Stony It's Creek considered or? all of them. Uh -huh. Hamilton is a super city, so uh -huh. okay. this is uh, the borough of Winona inside of Stony Creek inside of Hamilton. Okay. Makes sense. In Canada. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just tell us about your restaurant, how you got here, where you sure. came from. And, of course. Yeah. Um, so Memphis Fire, we started in 2010. Um, my wife, Lori, and I, you know, we were in the business. I was in culinary education for nine years before we opened this up at the collegiate level, and I've been in the business since I was 14. So, wow. my work and life's taken me all across the world. Worked and lived in Japan, like I said, taught culinary arts for nine years. Um, worked at some of the best uh, restaurants and hotels in the wine region in Niagara. So, oh, cool. yeah. So, are you originally from Canada? Yes. Yeah. This area? Born and raised. Yeah. Yeah. Born in Kitchener and then moved all around the country. And, okay. Yeah. So of, how'd you get into that. barbecue, I guess? So uh, in 1997, uh, there was an issue of Sever magazine that uh, really went into depth about Kansas City style barbecue. And uh, it, it the art level of foods always interested me. Uh, I come from a uh, very artistic family, mm. academic family, but their hobbies have always been artistic. And uh, it captivated me. So I always say like that's my like my like, like my like Scrooge McDuck number one dime uh, <laughs> is is that magazine. So uh, from there I bought a barrel smoker, practiced in the backyard. Uh, in 2002, I launched a spice company. You around. still have the same smoker, or no? Oh, okay. No, <laughs> okay. no, no it's, that one quite yeah, a bit. <laughs> it, it, that one's yeah. long gone. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I started a spice company, and uh, the first product we put out was Memphis Fire Dry Rub. So mm -hmm. we opened up a restaurant. The name came with. Oh, okay. Okay, and, uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. So where can you get the spices? Online or do, are they in right stores and stuff? Right now they're available through our website. Okay. Um, they do ship just within Canada right now. Okay. But, uh, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, it was, it, you know, like, like and food's been a passion of mine forever and ever, so. Yeah. Awesome. So what kind of do you do now to smoke them? What do you use? Um, here. So we use our, our smokers and old hickory fits, uh, model okay. SSE. It's 10 feet by 7 feet by 5 feet. It's a rotisserie. Okay. Um, because it's sleep, sleep is good. It's gas assist. So oh, there isn't nice. someone here <laughs> tending to it, uh, even though we're in the building obviously a lot longer than we're open. Right. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, we burn straight hickory. Um, mm. There's no other, no other wood we use. And it really shows up in our food. Yeah, it was very good. We uh, we had the pulled pork and the brisket 
and they were both amazing. We're trying to decide which do we like best. Yeah, it's like, it'd be hard to choose between <laughs> the two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They were good. But over the 13 years, we've been really lucky. We've, uh, we've just this year hit 135 uh, local awards. I nice. um, saw all those out here. Yeah, yeah, we were on You Gotta Eat Here, which is kind of like Canada's version of Diners, Drivers, and Dives. Awesome. Um, the province awarded us a special cultural designation, which is always a nice little honor. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, so, is there anything else in this area uh, between here and Toronto that we should stop and check out? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's so hard, especially this like time of year. Like points of interest. Or... <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it is. It is really hard. Um, if when you get to Toronto and you're downtown, um, you'll want to go to Steam Whistles, right? Really. Okay. So Steam Whistles are, are. We've been partnered with them since the very beginning. Um, it's not a biased thing. Like when we have time and we go to Toronto, it's our one place we go to is okay. Steam Whistle. Okay. Um, because their brewery is in the old uh, Roundhouse, oh. where the locomotives yeah. were okay. positioned. Awesome. Um, but that's so, neat. Yeah, it's very neat. And, so we'll know, check it out. Absolutely. Cool. But I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah thank you very thank much. You so much. And thanks for taking it. the time out to yeah. talk to us. No and worries about everything. Yeah. 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 Gets me right. right from my Excel spreadsheets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, where are we now? We're at Baumler Construction. Here it is. Just out here on this. I don't walk through the slot. Main drive here. Here's an office. See this truck? We're the Bomblers. After tackling multiple renovations together, I want people to say, holy crap, look what this guy did. Happy birthday to this guy. This restaurant called Canoe for Chris's birthday at a tasting, chef's tasting. We have a nice little sign for him, and we just got our first thing. And what did what did he say it was? Um, I forgot what kind of bread it was. Sourdough. Oh, it's sourdough with a multi -grain or multi-grain multi -grain sourdough with a brown butter <laughs> letter with sea salt. We got some venison tartare, shaved hearts on it, and it comes with some uh, game tea, which is venison consomme with Niagara tea. It basically I forgot already. I'm tastes old. like beef tea. Oh, it tastes like beef tea. It does. Interesting. So what do you think about the lobster tail? I think it's very good. It has a uh, nice grilled smoky taste to it. It's got a little bit of the greens that are in there. It's really good. Very delicious. Rich. someone from TV and he was kind of a shady character. It's the manager from White Lotus at the hotel in, which one is it? Um, Hawaii. 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 The hotel in Hawaii. Yeah. We'll try to get him on video for you. Cleared up a little bit out there.
That's our waiter. Excuse me. That was the one that looked like the manager on White Lotus. Back into more slush. This is what we're going to to get to the hotel across the road. At the Fairmont Royal York.